Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on further integration. And in today's lesson, we shall talk about integration by recognizing presence of a function and its derivative. So this method is used to integrate a product of two functions where one is the derivative of the other. Such integral is in the form integral of a const k is a constant multiplied by the derivative of this function. I think consider that this function which is outside this bracket is the derivative of the function inside the bracket which is raised by a power n. So there are some steps that are taken to solve such integrals. So let's start with step one. Step one is to first increase the power of n by one. For example, this function fx is raised to the power n. So the first step is to increase this power by one. Why do we increase the power by one? Because when we differentiate, we reduce the power by one. So integrating, you have to first increase the power by one. So step two is to obtain the derivative of fx raised to the power n plus 1. I think now you can realize why we first increase the power by 1 because when we differentiate we, shall, we have to reduce the power by 1 so that it goes back to the very power it was originally. So when you differentiate this I think we use the concept behind chain rule which was already covered under differentiation 1 whereby we bring down the power which is n plus 1 reduce the power by 1 to come up with fx raised to the power n and then differentiate the inner bracket, which is f prime x. Now the third step is to put integrals on both sides. So put an integral this side and put an integral this side. Step four is to recall that integration is the reverse of differentiation. What does that mean? It means that this integral and derivative will cancel each other. So in other words, this and this will cancel so that you remain with fx raised to the power n plus 1 this side and I think that's the step so the step 5 is to adjust the numerical factor to obtain the integral similar to the given integral so for example we now know this step which was we saw previously in step 4 the first thing to do is to make to remove this constant and take it this side, which we have done here. Then now that we compare, remember the given integral it had k here as the constant. That means that we have to multiply both sides by k so that we obtain the required integral. When we multiply both sides by k, we shall come up with this side as k over n plus one multiplied by fx raised to the power n plus one, and that will be the integral for k f f prime x fx raised to the power n. Don't forget the constant of integration. So this is the formula which will be used each time you realize that there is a function and its derivative. So now we shall go to problem one. Problem one says that find the integral of 2x in brackets 3x squared plus 2 raised to the power 4. So in this case, you realize that this inside the bracket, which, is, which has a power on it, is what becomes our fx. Now the first step is to get this derivative. So when I differentiate this, I'll come up with fx prime as 6x. Now when you compare this derivative and this one, which is outside the bracket, they are not the same, but we can make them the same by applying this by 3. So what will be the next step? The next step is to make sure that what is what is here is similar to the derivative we have got. So since the integral is 2x, 3x squared plus 2 raised to the power 4, and we need to multiply this by 3 to get the 6 which is here, we shall multiply up and down, we shall introduce an innocent expression of 3 so that this integral multiplied by 3 over 3 will come up with this, whereby the 3 comes inside and the 3 and the denominator remains outside to come up with 1 over 3 integral of 6x 
in brackets 3x squared plus 2 raised to the power 4. So in this case, we have managed to get this the integral which has a function and its derivative. When we get it, we have to recall that if, if the, an integral is in this form, then the east integration must be the constant which is outside. Now in this case, our k is 1 over 3 multiplied by fx with the, where the power is increased by 1. So our fx is this and the power is this. So we shall increase this by 1 to get 5. Then divide by the new power which is 4 plus 1. So this will be now the expression 1 over 3 is our k. Then fx n plus 1 is this one. fx is what is inside. Then n is 4. I think I'm seeing the given integral the n was 4. So increase it by 1 to get 4 plus 1 over the new power which is 4 plus 1. But don't forget the constant of integration. So after doing that the next step will be to simplify. So when we simplify this 4 plus 1 will give you 5. This will also give you the power of 5. And when we multiply this 3 and this 5 we shall come up with 1 over 15 in brackets we shall get 3x squared plus 2 raised to the power of 5 plus c. And that will be the integral of the given expression. So problem 2 says that in evaluate the integral from one, 0 to 1 of x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 5 raised to the power 3 with respect to x. So in this case our function is the function which is inside the bracket with the power. So the bracket with the power is the denominator and the function is this. So our fx will be x squared plus 2x minus 5. Then its derivative, when I differentiate this, I'll come up with 2x plus 1. And when I factorize out 2, I'll come up with 2 in brackets x plus 1. If you are to compare, realize that the derivative of this function is somewhat similar to this. The difference that the constants are, the, are different. But you have to remember that it has to be a bracket. The function as derivative must be a product, sorry. So in this case, we bring this one up to become a negative index. Therefore, we shall get x plus 1 in brackets multiplied by x squared plus 2x minus 5 raised to the power negative 3. But remember, we have to make the this derivative similar to be exactly the same as this. So what we do? To make to get this two, we have to multiply two here. So we in, introduce an innocent expression of two over two. So when, when I multiply this integral by two over two, I'll come up with this step. And when I bring this two inside, I'll remain with our one over two outside. Then integral of two in brackets x plus one. Then another bracket will be x squared plus two x minus five raised to the power negative three. I think now you realize that we have got a function raised to the power negative 3, a derivative and also a constant k. Then we shall use the formula which we already derived that the formula for integrating such will be equal to the constant which is this multiplied by the function raised to the power n plus 1. Now our n was negative 3. Increase it by 1 to get negative 3 plus 1. Divided by the new power which is negative 3 plus 1. When we simplify, negative 3 plus 1 will give you negative 2. And negative 3 plus 1 down will give you negative 2. But you multiply it by this 2 to get negative 4. So outside it will now become negative 1 over 4. And in brackets it will be x squared plus 2x minus 5 raised to the power negative 2. From the rules of negative indices, if I want to make this power positive, I'll have to take it down. So in the end, I'll come up with negative 1 over 4 outside. Then in brackets, I'll have 1 over x squared plus 2x minus 5 raised to the power 2. So now the next part will be substituting the limits. So you start with the upper limit where there is x, you substitute the upper limit which is 1 to come up with this bracket. 
and after that you say minus now substitute the lower limit which is zero to come up with this bracket when i use the calculator i'll simplify until i get my integral as negative 21 over 400 So problem 3, they want us to evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 of 8x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 raised to the power 3 multiplied by x minus 3 raised to the power 3. So the first thing to realize is that these two factors in the denominator all have the same power. So whenever the two factors have the same power in the denominator, always just remember that there is a function and its derivative hidden somewhere as we shall see. So the first thing to do is to put all these two factors under the same power which is 3 and put them in the box bracket. Next is to expand these two brackets to give you this. Now don't tamper with this power 3. What you do just bring the whole of it up to become using the rule of negative indices. So we shall end up saying that 8x minus 8 over x plus 1 cubed x minus 3 cubed is equal to 8 in brackets x minus 1, then in another bracket will be x squared minus 2x minus 3 raised to the power negative 3. So in this case, the, the function in the bracket will be our fx, which is that. And this derivative, when I differentiate this, I'll come up with 2x minus 2, which you can factorize out 2 to get 2 in brackets x minus 1. Now this x minus, this 2x minus 1, is somewhat similar to 8x minus 1. What is changing is only the constants outside. So we have to express this integral say that in a form say that here there is 2. How? Remember that 8 is the same as 4 times 2. So what you do, take out the 4 and remain with 2 inside the integral. In that case, you have got a constant which is k, then the derivative which is 2x minus 1 and the function which is this and the power n which is negative 3. Now that we have got all those, we can now use the rule for integrating func integrals with functional as derivative. How? The rule says that put the constant outside which is that then multiply, but multiply that constant by the function which is x squared minus 2x minus 3 raised with the power increased by raised with this power increased by 1 so the power of the function was negative 3 increase it by 1 you get negative 3 plus 1 now that you divide it by the new power the new power is now negative 3 plus 1 which is that now next will be to simplify when i say negative 3 plus 1 i'll come up with negative 2 so i'll put negative 2 here and negative 2 here when I simplify further, this and this will reduce to become negative 2, and this one being a negative power, it can go down to become x squared minus 2x minus 2 raised to the power 2. So now we have finished to integrate. The next step is to substitute. So we shall substitute. We begin with the upper limit where there is x put there 1 to come up with this. Then after that, where there is x, put the put there 0, which is the lower limit, to come up with this. When we use the calculator, we shall come up with this. And when we simplify further, we shall come up with 7 over 72. And that is the answer for the given integral. It's now your turn to try out the following problems. So try it out and compare your answer with this. Try that one out and compare your answer with this. Try that one out and compare your answer with this. So that has been our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.